welcome to the Karen Family Diaries. I'm Kathleen. Um, I've got Nonin and Eddie Oak here with me. Um, and she Oak, our little doggy. Eddie's at work. Um, today's video is a plant-based what we eat in a day. So mum and two toddlers. Um, Eddie's at work, I can tell you what he's eating too. Like, <laughs> um, This video is in collaboration with Mel from Life with Olive. And and Fireman Sam, he said, and Gemma from Miss M Plus Five, and Chrissy from Chrissy Ropia. Go and check out their channels. Um, they're all gorgeous Aussie mums, um, and they're all doing this video today as well. Um, so I'm going to link their channels in the description below, um, and I'd love if you go over and uh, show them some love. And if you come from one of their channels, hi, um, it's nice to meet you. Leave a comment down below and let me know that you've come from their channels. I'd like to say hello. Um, yeah, so today is just what we eat in a day. Um, yeah, so this is just to give you some ideas. Um, I'd love to know what your favorite meals are. Um, I'm always looking for more plant-based meals. Um, yeah, I get bored very easily. <laughs> so yeah, this morning we had a banana and peanut butter on toast. That's, we all three of us had it. Um, that's my favourite at the minute. Eddie Oak loves it. Um, Noni will just eat anything. And especially the last week, she has just been devouring everything we ever, like, and then still hungry. So she must be going through a bit of a growth spurt at the minute, uh, which makes me kind of sad because she's growing up. I also had a cup of rose green tea this morning. Um, it's the T2 green rose tea. Did I say rose green tea? Green rose tea. Um, I either have that or Irish breakfast tea with almond milk in the morning. Um, but the green rose tea from T2 is amazing. Nonine and I are getting over a cold at the minute. That's why I sound a bit nasally. <laughs> um, and Eddie Ogo's just got it, so he's feeling really sicky this morning. Um, he's got a temperature and he's not himself at all. So I don't know how much he'll eat today. Um, he didn't eat much of his breakfast, so he'll eat what he needs, I suppose. <laughs> Good job. <laughs> oh, I'm not even pushing it. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. I will let you put it in. Where's my phone? Okay. Oh, you all right? Yeah. Ready? Me. Me first. Is it nice? I have these reusable copper straws. They are brilliant. I'll try and link them below. I'll try and find them. No, no, it's mommy's straw. I want to try too. You like it? 
Do you want some more? No. Do you want me to put some in a cup for you? I've just gone up for their nap. They're both very <laughs> cranky and cryy and yeah, they're not having a good day. So they've both gone up to bed. Um, hopefully they'll feel better after that. I am starving. I'm gonna heat up some of this leftover moussaka from last night's dinner. I filmed how I made it, so I'll put that on now so you can see how to make a vegan uh, plant-based moussaka. I'm just letting him have a real lazy pajama day today. Um, I was going to make him and Nonine um, like stir fried noodles for 
lunch um but I plan to put cabbage in it and I don't have any cabbage so I'm making Eddie Oak's like favourite sort of dinner type meal instead which is mashed potato and carrots, broccoli and sausages or sausages <laughs> as he says. So yeah I just figured because he's not feeling well and he's really not eating very well either I'd said I'd make him his favourite. Um, his favorite dinner and hopefully he'll eat it. I'm also just prepping dinner for me and Eddie later. So how I work it is I put, I give them like a dinner or lunch, like a cooked meal about like when they get up from their nap time. But then they also have like a dinner later on with us or they'll have like if, it's a, if they've had a big dinner and snacks after they've gotten up they might just have like toast, fruit toast or something like that before they go to bed or wheat bix um, if they don't feel like having a meal but they, I give them the option of the two meals uh, because sometimes I find with toddlers like mine are great eaters but <laughs> they might like eat, love broccoli one week and only want to eat broccoli and then the next week they won't touch it. I kind of feel like they know what they need like literally that happened with broccoli. I remember one day Eddie was crying for broccoli and I didn't have any. And the next day I made sure I got some in the shops and cooked it for him and he was like, no, it's yucky. <laughs> he loves broccoli in general, but that's just an example. I think they just decide sometimes they don't, I think they know themselves what they need. Um, so for dinner tonight for me and Eddie, I am making um, fajitas. So I'm chopping up some pumpkin, cauliflower, red pepper or capsicum, um, depending on what you call it, red onion or Spanish onion, depending on what you call it, and loads of garlic. Um, I'll drizzle that with olive oil and the spices. Um, and I will might actually chop up some potatoes as well, and I'll show you my trick to making really nice oven roast potatoes. Um, and what else was I going to say? So my secret ingredient for roast potatoes or chips, um, bay leaf. This is my secret ingredient for everything. Uh, you would have seen I put some in the masaka last night even though the recipe didn't call for it. I say the recipe, I looked at a few different recipes and then just made up my own. <laughs> like I tweak it according to what I have in the cupboard. <laughs> so um, yeah, I use, it, it just makes everything better. I use it in bolognese, shepherd's pie, stews, curries, and I use it for this. So what I do with the, um, potatoes is I chop them up and I've just got them ready now I'm not cooking them now um, I'll boil them for 10 minutes with a bay leaf um, oh this smells so good um, I'll boil them for 10 minutes with a bay leaf and then I'll drizzle with either olive oil or coconut oil and a bit of salt and black pepper and roast them. You can also put garlic in, you can put onions in, you can put whatever. I'm just doing salt and pepper this evening though. Um, this is quite a lot going on in the fajitas. <laughs> but this is just a side dish. Um, but I've made loads of them because everyone loves these and there's never enough. Um, so yeah, I'll boil them for 10 minutes, pop them in the oven with some olive oil and black pepper and salt and roast them and roast all the stuff, the fajita mix. I'll make a salad and put it all on the table with some wraps and that's dinner. Thank you, Ludo. Oh, all the Lego. Yes, you won't miss anything. We can just press play when we come back, okay?
that's all folks. Uh, dinner's done. Eddie's putting the kids to bed. I can hear them there in the monitor. And I'm going to hop into the shower and finally get my jammies on. <laughs> uh, thanks so much for watching. <laughs> thanks so much for watching. Um, if you haven't already, I'd love for you to subscribe to our channel and give this video a big thumbs up if you liked it. Um, and don't forget to go over and check out Mel, Gemma and Chrissy's channels. Um, they're really cool channels and as I said before, they're all lovely Aussie mums with gorgeous kids. Um, so, I'm proud of my outro. <laughs> Um, yeah, so thanks so much for watching and we'll see you in the next one. Bye!